Hey guys, Andy Cumbo Floyd here with a rooster <laughs> and a couple dogs on my feet. Um, it's Monday morning and for me Mondays are, yeah, they're intense. Um, I tend to have all of the things I want to do in the week on my mind and so it feels pretty overwhelming sometimes. So this morning I was particularly struck by how anxious and overwhelmed I felt when I got up. Um, part of that is just how many things I need to do this week, but part of it is also that I've really been focused on preparing books for publication. Um, my book Discover Your Writing Self is now available. If you're interested, you can pick it up, but I've been working really hard to promote that launch and, you know, it's 99 cents so that for only a week, so I have to work to get that news out and I've got bonuses and I've been also doing the edits for my new book and so it's just been a lot of the business side of the writing life and less about the actual writing stuff and I try to build in some outlets for the writing I do you know newsletters for my community and I also um, do some journaling and other stuff but uh, it's just not the same as working on like a concentrated project. So when that happens to me, and that just does happen, you have to focus sometimes on the business side of stuff. I have to find a way to do some balancing. So for me, that often involves more physical things like uh, crocheting. That's something I do a lot. Um, it's also ha when I start to focus on the farm a little bit more, um, the shift to the farm is pretty heavy always in the summer, but when I'm working on a book, it also shifts back that way a little bit um, when I'm doing the marketing because I'm I'm really just looking for something concrete that I can control. You know, I can't control my animals in any way, but I can control, you know, getting them fed and making sure they're healthy and um, just enjoying them. So for me, balance comes when I can uh, get into something more uh, concrete, like a farm, um, and uh, yarn. Those are the two things I do. So, and I will say that it's never constant. Like I never, I keep thinking I'm going to, but I never figure out a schedule that's perfect, like that, and that, that stays stationary. It's not a static thing. So I may try this one time and that another time, and there's a basset hound trying to get my attention right now. <laughs> Um, but it's never going to be stationary. Uh, for me, the farm makes that harder even than it used to be when I didn't farm because uh, the daylight schedule here makes a big difference. Um, so that's definitely tricky. It's also uh, not the same because I'm not always doing the same thing even in my writing life. So, you know, right now I'm promoting a book. I'm not writing a book. I'm editing another book. That's a different process for me than, than drafting altogether. So I'm just learning that balance is something that I can't get set. I have to constantly be reevaluating how to get balance and I have to constantly just be showing myself grace. As I feel overwhelmed, I maybe need to take some time and step back, which is ironic. I know when you have a lot to do. Um, when I'm feeling really good about my writing, maybe I need to spend more time in the actual writing stuff. So I would love to hear how you guys find some balance. I'd love to get your comments on that down below, and um, I will I read all of them. So I will definitely respond and... Um, yeah, I'm eager to hear how you guys do this. So here's to good writing, here's to what we do when we're not writing, and here's to a basset hound who clearly needs to go outside right now. Love you guys. Bye.